The witness has moved beyond our reach. still hope. On Neptune, we learned that a key to defeating the Witness lies hidden away on Titan. Now we know why the Witness's fleet came there when it first arrived. Deputy Commander Sloan held the line on Titan to the bitter end, right up until the Witness took it. Then, we lost all contact. But now, just when we need it most, Titan has returned. And when it did, we were greeted with something we could have never predicted. To any Guardians listening, this is Deputy Commander Sloan requesting emergency support. This is a Priority One rescue operation. We have received a distress call on the secure Vanguard channel. The target of extraction is Deputy Commander Sloan. She was last seen on Titan before it vanished during the arrival of the pyramids. Our job is to triangulate where the distress signal is coming from, find the Deputy Commander, and get her out. I know what you may be thinking, but Sloan is one of the most tenacious, resilient soldiers I've ever known. If anyone could have survived this, it's her. The Guardian has landed. I'm at our old LZ. No sign of Sloan or enemy activity. Extraction team, what's your status? Commander, I am at the tidal anchor, not far from your position. It is abandoned. Quiet. Distress signal is weak. I've established a beachhead inside the new Pacific Arcology. No sign of the Hive. Signal strength is weak here as well. Guardian. You need to cross the rig to align a communications dish so we can triangulate Sloan's position. Keep comms open. We don't know what happened to you. Taken! I've got multiple Taken engagements on my position. They are on me as well! Confirm 10 Taken contacts in the new Pacific Arcology. Iron War Beasts are engaging. Is that the derelict? Hey, gang! Heard there was a party, and I thought I'd pop on by and see what the fuss is all about. This is a rescue mission for Deputy Commander Sloan. Get off the line. Oh, great. She owes me a drink. A drink? Would I lie? We have more taken incoming. Falling back to the Arcology Solarium. I am the mountain upon which all swords fetter! Hone your aim against me! No. I am the hand around your throat! I am the last breath in your mouth! You cannot escape me! More taken! They're coming up from the methane flush! I'm holding position! I remember Sagira shattering! She was worthy of death! Osiris was not! Are you so fragile? Show yourself! Fight me! I will tear you apart with my bare hands! That voice we heard... It was Zivu Arath. I'd only heard her voice in audio logs from the fall of the Cabal homeworld. There's no mistaking her. She must be near. We need to be careful. Her influence has never been this strong. We need to find Sloane and get her out of here now. You're almost at the Array Guardian. Get moving. Go! Excellent work. Systems are lighting up here. I have Sloane's position as... One kilometer down. She is in the ocean. It is a sea of crushing methane. Nothing can survive there. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Guardian, 
rig schematic show a ballast maintenance shaft near your position. Follow the signal down and find the deputy commander. I'll join up with you shortly. I've arrived at the diving point. I'm coming down to you. That ain't gonna happen, boss. Do you know how much pressure they're taking? They gotta get out of there. I am not leaving anyone behind again. And I ain't saying we do. All right, that's enough. I'm pulling you up before you and your ghost get flat. Welcome to the derelict. I'm down in engineering making sure we don't blow up. Zavala's got his heart in the right place, but old Blue's about as stubborn as they come. You can't brute force this moon. The collapse messed the whole place up good. Gravity's weird down in the deep. There's pockets of air. Some places you can move safely. Others that'll crush you into a little speck. But I think I got something in my gets that'll help us out. Titan ain't my first aquatic rodeo. Go ahead and try out that prototype. Should protect you from the pressure. Well, some of it, at least. Now get on out of here. I'll fill the boss man in for you. Guardian, you're almost at the source of the distress signal. I've acquired one of Drifter's devices. I'll be joining you momentarily. Sloan? Here, Commander. You're alive. Staying alive was the mission. And I always complete the mission. No wonder you called us, sister. Let's get you back home. You don't understand. That distress call wasn't for me. Asa. You can communicate with it? It's complicated, sir. I get impressions, emotions, ideas. She knows our true enemy. The witness came for her species, too. Discrete concepts are harder. Even more now, since this. And you're still you? Every bit. My light is holding this corruption back, but I can hear voices whispering, demanding. It's like being tuned in to the enemy's radio. If we could strengthen my connection with Asa, I believe it would improve my ability to communicate through the noise. I got some ideas. I'll draw up some specs and drop by soon. Sloan. I'm fine, sir. And I think I'm long overdue for a debriefing. As you wish. We'll reconvene at the helm. Good to be back in contact with the Vanguard. It's an honor to serve with you. The Taken moved in quick after we lost Titan. I had to switch gears. Escape, evade, and rotate between extraction points. Survive for another day. That was the mission. I absorbed some of the Taken corruption to tap into their comms. If you can call them that. My bond with Asa proved mission critical too. I owe her my life. 
Now that Titan's back, the mission's changed. We need more intel on our enemy. The Witness. Drifter claims he knows a way to help Asa share that intel. Boost the signal so her message can get through. If he's right, then you're going to need some diving equipment. Thankfully, I was able to secure a pair of intact subnauticals from the Arcology storage units. Feel free to toss out that junk Drifter gave you earlier. This is the real deal. Hey there, hero. While you were taking a dip in the methane, I detected something on the ocean floor. And it ain't native to Titan. I've seen it before. On the Glycon. On the Leviathan. On my own ship, too. An organism that's all about forming psychic connections. Seems it's growing like coral down in the depths. I'm thinking we gather it up and use it to amplify Sloane's link to the creature. I can modify my gambit equipment to bank that stuff and harness its power, but I'll need some Golden Age parts to do it. Just so happens, the Arcology is full of Golden Age tech waiting to be salvaged. You help me collect it, and I'll fix up the bank. Then it's just a matter of, well... Diving into the depths of the methane sea and dredging up what Sloan needs. All while trying not to drown, of course. Nothing you can't handle. So what do you say? Ready for another swim? Seek to disrupt our salvaging? Then we will drive them off! Go! Fight! What's the saying? Many hands make light work? Eh, I don't know. Some of that stuff still looked pretty heavy. I didn't see you lifting anything. Hey, hey! Ain't you a tactician? My job's the same. It's logistics. Mm-hmm. Logistics. I might have also been eating lunch. This is Operation Thunderbolt. Asa has alerted us to a shelf of coral infested with a fungal spore we can use. However, it's in hostile territory. Always is, was, will be. Indeed. Forward Intel reports a Wrathborn servitor patrols the area. And it is not alone. You have two sites to hit. Deploy excavation equipment, defend and extract. Deputy Commander, Guardian, divide and conquer. Bring the Drifter what he needs. I'm reading you, Guardians. So the old man asked you to babysit? I'm your air superiority. From aboard a Cabal cruiser? Never thought I'd see the day. Meet the Empress, then I'll hear your judgment. Fair enough. To be honest, it's just nice to be back running with the both of you. On that, we can agree. That servitor's onto us. I just met contact. Let's hustle, Guardian. It's been an age since I've seen you fight, Sloan. Had you been with us on the Dragon Hunts. You're the bait now. Guardian, you're next. Goes against all my instincts, but I'll try to make myself look delicious. Drown this gift and revel in it. Kneel, that I may lay my blade across thine breast. The quiver of your heart to resonate its black edge. Get out of my head. Servitors coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then meet the challenge. Sites are secure, and you just punched us a way out. Good. You haven't lost a step. Well, I've had a lot of dive time. But the Guardian took to the sea like a fish. 
Send over the submersible beacon and let's transmat this hull back to the rig. You're sure this new ally of yours is trustworthy? Hasn't let me down yet. You asked me to trust you about the Empress. Trust me about Asa. in the desert. Seeds of hope buried beneath the sands. Nomads. Wanderers. Travelers. Their journey comes to an end. The first to be claimed by the deep. The first to fall victim to the witness. <gasps> So you heard all of that, huh? Hard to believe, but it's not just noise. I can understand bits and pieces of it through Asa. Zivu Arath's thirst for battle, the Witness's cold rage, the Taken's enmity. It's all in there. I started hearing it when my arm got this new paint job, but it hasn't sounded that real since. Doesn't matter. I've been through it before, and I can get through it again. Asa has vital information about the Witness. I'll do whatever it takes so she can deliver it. That's the mission, and I always complete the mission. Asa and I both need to recover before we boost our connection again. Until then, continue helping Drifter upgrade his technology. I hate to admit it, but his plan seems like it might actually work. Guardian, operations on Titan are in full swing. Drifter believes he can further improve his modified bank to work at greater depths. He will require more salvage from the sunken arcology. Acquire it for him so we can continue enhancing Sloane's link with Asa. This mission... Sloane's been through enough as it is. I informed her of everything that transpired while she was MIA. Guardians using the darkness... Savathun's deception, the witness attacking the Traveler... ...and Amanda. The two of them were close. Word of Amanda's death hit Sloane hard. I saw it in her eyes. The moment when the news landed. And the moment she buried it. I don't like putting this mission on Sloane. But I recognize her need for it. Her need for an objective. And a commander to assign it. What I need is for you to stand beside her in the trenches. Show her that she doesn't have to fight this battle alone. We'll all see this through together. Fire team. Prep your dive loadouts. We've received a mayday call from an off-site coral extraction team. Shokan, add their search and rescue IDs to our objectives. You're first on site. Find our missing guardians, get their sights back online and break down any resistance. Saint 14 will provide tactical oversight. Let's bring our missing crew home. I'm on the move, Guardian. Good luck out there. Fire team, I have you. You joining us down here? No. Today I sit in chair, but this good chair. Do we have the missing fire teams last known? Yes, now so do you. You will find them, I know it. I'm just hoping they got turned around. It can be disorienting down there. Help them find the surface and things make sense again. 
like having sea legs. And then on land. It takes time, yes? I'm not sure what you mean. How are you feeling, friend? Oh, we're talking about me now. Can we stow this until I'm back? I mean to say, I understand becoming lost. <sighs> Big guy, I know you want to help, but I'm about to be shot at here. Wait, a fight? Very good. What can I do? Start marking targets. I'll knock them down. I've got bodies on the approach to Delta site. It's our missing team. Oh, damn it. The gear's offline. We need to get these running. Machines online. Now secure the area. I sow the death you sow. Your needle is a brutal, efficient violence. Mm. All right. Keep it together. Fire team. Payload secure and all transmats locked. Turn your attention to the wizard. I'm already in contact. Tagged them, but they're headed to ambush you. Remind them we're not in danger. We are the danger. I used to know every fire team that passed through Titan's rig. These guardians, I don't recognize them. You have spent a great deal of time pushing forward. Stop, sit, rest. You will come to know again. Then you will find others to push with you. Like now. You don't have an off switch, do you, Saint? That would be bad design. <laughs> I need to go see Asa. Send me their names. They will be in your debriefing. Thanks, Tactical. Slow now. Wondering what the creature has to share, Guardian? I'm eager myself. Or anxious. That separation can be difficult to discern. Commander, Guardian, were you waiting here for me? Just considering the pieces on the board, Saint. You worry for the Deputy Commander. She is strong, and her friend is very large. They will be okay. Sloan will do what's necessary. But after that, things are less... simple. When I was trapped in the Infinite Forest, before Osiris broke time to reunite us, there were many days I felt lost. <laughs> but I am here, and you are all with me again. That you are, a hero of the city, then and now. A hero, yes. Though my memory differs from what the stories say. There's only so much I can do behind a desk, weighing costs and outcomes. Sending someone else never sits right with me. I'd rather the clarity of the battlefield beside the two of you. The burden of good leaders. To never feel we have done enough. But trusting those we send is what makes us strong. You were vanguard commander once. What made you step down? Because I am not as strong as you. You carry the command for the same reason the Guardian and I stand in the trenches. To set the example. To be the hope. When the time comes, you will see it too, huh? I know you will. Into the trenches then, Guardian. Yours on Titan. And mine in the tower. I look forward to your report.
A city of light. A, a flourishing garden. A silent god withholds a, a deeper truth. A, questions unanswered. A longing unfulfilled. The sky darkens as a new journey begins. <sighs> It's hard to make sense of Asa's thoughts, but they are coming into focus, taken in interference be damned. Hearing those sounds puts me right back in the thick of it. Staying on the move, gun in hand, Zivu Arath's voice in my head. Escape and evade. No matter how bad things got, that routine kept me going. And Asa kept me safe. She shored up my resolve. Helped me find food. Watched over me when I caught a few hours of shut-eye. Now she's doing everything she can to tell us what she knows. We're both on a new mission. Unfortunately, Drifter needs to tinker with his machine before we bank more coral. Hurry up and wait, right? I've been around a long time, Guardian. Seen a lot of action, gone on a lot of sorties. Always ready for the next set of orders. It's staying still that gets to me. Your efforts are paying off, young wolf. It's time for another dive, and another haul of coral for the deputy commander. Assuming, of course, that you can prevent the deep from drowning you like a rat. Not that I'm worried about your capacity to do so, especially when Sloane's fighting by your side. She's always been one to shoulder a burden so that others need not. That's something I understand all too well. After the Iron Lords fell, I alone remained to keep the torches lit, to hold the banner high, and honor those who died in the line of duty. It was a lonely path, one I walked for centuries without complaint. Now, a legion of my former enemies walks beside me. I had forgotten what such camaraderie could be like, and I suspect the same holds true for Sloane. Keep that in mind when the two of you are in the depths. There's no weapon more powerful than the soldier standing next to you. Fire team, this is Operation Fulgurite. Scans have uncovered a rich shelf of egregore coral at a depth we've yet to explore. So rich, in fact, that it has attracted the attention of a Taken Knight and their minions. And they're radiating Taken energy, turning our hall rancid. <clears throat> you don't mind if I take it from here, do you, Big Blue? Good. We're diving into the dark and robbing the Taken blind. Woo! Let's be heroes. Indeed. Just so we're clear, disrespect the commander again, I'll hurl you off the arcology like a shot put. That all it take to get you to surface? I'm betting the ocean floor feels like home sweet home now, eh, Chief? Deputy Commander. Get swallowed up by anything big while you were out there? <sighs> Not much cover at seafloor. Before Asa, they tried. Doesn't sound so bad. Open space, cozy long girl. How'd you sleep? Like a lamb in power armor. Stay on mission, and don't call her that. Thing is, since you strapped on that rig and walked out into the deep, I've been itching to know. You regret it? <laughs> Worried you couldn't hack it? From what I hear, you're a survivalist. I've run from every damn thing, if that's surviving. But, uh, you commit. 
Uh, I'm fixing to commit to something stupid myself. Get swept up in a cause. So be real. You regret it? The Vanguard had a file on you. Doesn't paint you as the hero type. You might regret it. Well, ain't that the truth. Your violence bears offerings. I accept them. Slay and be slain. Rise! Drink and let's spill! In this strife, you are home! Stop! Stop! Enough! Guardian, I just tangled with a massive Taken Knight. Clocked them, but they're right behind me. I'll keep their attention. Wait. They're gone. That knight's headed your way, hero. Get ready for a showdown. Oh, they should have kept running! Look at them now! They're dead! <laughs> <sighs> well, if you didn't need the backup, I could have saved myself the leg cramps. <sighs> Let's exfil. Get this back to the long girl. Yes, I like it. And hear what she's got for us. See? It grows on you. Talking with her must be a trip and a half. <laughs> it's a bit like wandering out into the dark. You're lost for a minute, but then your eyes adjust and you acclimate. Things normalize. One foot in front of the other. Funny how many things work like that. Ain't that the truth. Oh, hey there, Valis. Germain, or is it Dredge and Hope? No. You know it's drifted these days. Has been for a long time. I was just speaking with the deputy commander. She's ready for you. How's she holding up? Sloane is a soldier, and that role has given her purpose. Hope. But she has been through a great ordeal. Her own personal dark age. Yeah. That's a bad hand to be dealt. Maybe this can wait. Unless you want to tip one back. Talk about the bad old days. <laughs> what is that? Motor oil? Battery acid? Hmm. <laughs> Only one way to find out. You and I are among the oldest of our kind. Centuries we've orbited each other. Why now? Why not? Maybe another time. <laughs> I think Kaido's actually mellowed that old wolf out a bit. Shrouded in darkness. A promise of, of something more. Two halves of a whole. Long divided. A schism between them. Reunited. A glimpse beyond. To the beginning. Ugh. Uh. The plan's working. It's getting easier for me to parse Asa's thoughts, like a picture coming into focus. Other things are a little harder for me to wrap my head around. When I first heard of Saladin's Iron War Beasts, I... didn't know what to think. We lost a lot of people in the Red War. The Empire took so much away from us, and now Saladin commands an Imperial Legion? They're the reason we had to fall back and regroup on Titan. Why I had to send fire teams down into the Arcology, never to return. Those Guardians died under my orders. They paid for our foothold in blood. When the Pyramids arrived, there was no way in hell I'd give it all up without a fight. This? This is nothing compared to what others sacrificed. Completing the mission is how I honor them. Just like Saladin honors the Iron Lords. No matter who he leads into battle against our enemies. Stay the course, Guardian. 
Once Asa and I are ready again, it's back into the depths for us. What's the word, brother? All this Golden Age tech is impressive stuff. Almost makes you wonder how they lost back then, you dig? About that. If we're looking to win this time, I need Savathun's swamp to wash up a few finishing touches for my rig. Cracking skulls and looting halls is your bag, hero. That's why you're headed to her throne world. That pyramid Savvy brought down, it's cut off from the witness. Scorn bigwigs been digging tech we can use out of that burning heap. All you have to do is find them and take it. Then you let old Drifter worry about the kit bashing. Easy. Hey, uh, one more thing. Zivu dripping nonsense in your head, too? She's been recounting some of my more heroic exploits. Dark Ages been on my mind. You know how the past is. You pull the trigger and people die, so you don't have to. Then, someone comes along and wants to forgive you for that. Like it's fine. Won't ask what Zivu's dredging up for a killer like you. Wouldn't be polite. Thunderguns down there, though. Been under pressure so long, everybody's looking for cracks. Don't get me wrong, coin to table, she's been through it. But I don't think Sloane's looking to be told it's fine. Cause it ain't. Cause it needs to be ugly to win. And then, you live with it. See you on the other side. This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to mod my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off-world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloane. Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape the pursuit for the final shape. <sighs> Where?
We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... Like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends... Like Amanda... Sometimes I wonder... If I returned to the tower... Would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? A forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to... stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. And avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end, regardless of where I end up when it's done. Ah, I see you. You see me too? Ha, good, good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes falter. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face, but it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy, lured him into danger, forced Sagira's sacrifice, and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Sloane's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloane is no warrior of glass. But the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, guardian. As I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able. Even if she does not want it. Our minds are one, linked by the darkness, but only for a moment. I must borrow Sloane's voice to speak my words. Please, heed them well. Before you can confront the witness, you must understand it. The Witness's first victims were once like you, struggling for survival, bolstered by hope, until their hopes became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons they prospered, but their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. 
they desired meaning. Structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Eternal. And perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witnesses' pursuit, its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe, one that is nearly at its end. Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. To think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission. It's my purpose, my reason for being my guiding light. Without it, I... I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. The bond took its toll. But we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. Change of plans. Zivu Arath struck while you were returning from the dive. Hive deception slipped through our guard, and Asa was targeted by a Hive ritual. 
Zivor Rath's voice tore through the air like a wall of swords. We think it wounded Asa, but she swam off to try and interrupt the ritual before we could do anything. Zavala and Sloane are tracking her to the ritual site, and I am mobilizing the Iron War beasts to support them. We need you in the fight, Guardian. I'm sending coordinates to your ghost, but we have no idea what to expect there. Deploy to the ritual site and disrupt the hive. The hunt is on. Commander, we've picked up Asa's trail deep below Kraken Mar, behind Zivu Arath's battle lines. Understood. The Deputy Commander Saint and I will set up a perimeter to draw the Hive's attention. Then the Guardian can break through unscathed. The Iron War Beasts prepare to support our assault. Say the word. Keep them in reserve until the Guardian has eyes on Asa. Daylight's burning and she's in pain. I can feel it. I'll find you on the field, Sloane. Hit your marks and we'll get this done. Move out. Fire team, check in. I've reached my position on the left flank. I've encountered a ritual. I'm setting up on the right. Looks like a smaller ritual site here, too. Pushing toward the commander's position now. My drop pod is deploying to your location, Sloan. Drifter, you're on tack. Well, all right. Taking energy, spiking up ahead of you, hero. That must be Asa. Ah! My arm! Whatever they're doing, it's getting worse. If we're gonna do something about it, now's the time! Guardian, start pushing forward. As soon as Saladin's pod hits ground, we launch our diversion. Pod grounded. I'm in position. Guardians, strike! Fire team, report! Saint and I hold the left flank! It is working! We draw them off the Guardian. Enemy reinforcements flooding the right flank. We're holding. This line doesn't fall back. Okay, hotshot. It's all you now. Found the long girl. Guardian's almost there. Dropping a ping to the fire team. Taking fire. Repositioning. I've got you. They are overrunning our position. Zavala! Drop wards and focus fire on their ritualists. No one gets past us. Is that... Wait. These rituals... They're trying to take Asa! Keep your taking pants on. I ain't never seen a ritual our walking tank couldn't smash. That's a whole lot of magic. And I bet those wizards are holding the reins. Get in there and start breaking things. <laughs> Every wizard you put in the dirt makes a dent. Plug away, hero. Asa just got a second wind, Guardian. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. War beasts, deploy. You will take that position. Clever, warrior of the sky. Hold on, Asa. We're coming! The coward flesh must be taken! <laughs> Should be home free. Excellent work, Guardian. Fire team, check in. Down to a sword, but Hive and Taken forces routed. They will not run far. So many Titans, we encircle them like impenetrable walls. Ha! <laughs> Clear your zones and fall back to defensive positions around us as she swims back to the Arcology. Consider it done. War beasts, you fought well. Extra rations for all. What's Asa's status? I've got an eye on her, and I'm shipping a transmat beacon your way. Hold on to your boots. Zivorath's forces are in full retreat. Good. Time to complete the mission. Our 
dance will never end. I am war. You carry my banner. Cling to me like hope. What are you without me? Sink into my embrace. Drown in the deep. Fight forever. Stand down, deputy. Sometimes the battle is stepping away from the battle. We're with you all the way. <sighs> the true path lies obscure. But she knows the way. She who hides truth in deception. The Witch Queen must rise. on Sabathun. This is what it's come to. Tell me you're not serious. I am. Asa has given us a way to follow the witness. This cannot be the only way. Everyone in this room understands the risks. But we finally have a path forward. We can't wait for another. The Empress won't take kindly to this news. You stand on her council. Convince her. I cannot watch the Witch Queen rise again, Zavala. To scheme against us. To steal another face? No! She won't be given the opportunity. Eris and Ikora will keep the situation under our control. Imaru isn't one to be baited into a trap. Not a trap. A bargain. We're all against the witness. Savathun's ghost has no choice but to cooperate. I'll convey your decision and assurances to the Empress. Commander. Guardians. We tried to control the Witch Queen before. I saw how that ended, Zawala. It is a treacherous path. When she strays, as I know she will, even one claw... My fist will be right behind yours. I hope I am wrong. But right now... I cannot see how. Osiris will hear of this. I imagine he will have words too. There's a long night ahead of us. Let's be the beacons others need to follow. At least until we make it through this. We did it, Guardian. Cut a swath through the Taken and got the intel we needed. The mission is complete. I've waited a long time to say those words. And I used to dread the moment that comes after. But not anymore. I thought I needed the mission to draw my focus, to drown out all the noise. All of this. But... Not focusing on it doesn't mean it isn't there. It's a part of me now. I'll carry it with me wherever I go. And that's okay. 
I'm strong enough to shoulder that weight. Especially if I don't have to do it alone. Asa's in hibernation now. All that strain on our psychic link has worn her out. Poor girl's earned some time to rest. She won't be alone, either. I'll camp out on Titan and watch over her. Just like she watched over me. That's not to say I'll never return to the tower. When I do, I know there'll be a place for me. And people to welcome me home. Take care, Guardian. And watch your back when you dig up Savathun. If you ever need to punch your lights out, you know where to find me. <laughs>